Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is homemade eggnog. It's the holiday season and we're making eggnog today. It's gonna be tasty, so don't go away. Happy holidays, my friends. We are hanging out at Public at the Brickyard here in Wichita, Kansas to make some homemade eggnog today. We're talking like real eggnog, didn't come out of a carton has eggs and cream in it, and it's delicious. And if you don't love it, maybe try this version because I really enjoy it and I wanna share it with you. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna steep some vanilla bean and nutmeg in our half and half. So we're gonna take this vanilla bean here and strip out the seeds. You could always use some extract if you can't get a hold of one of these. But this adds a really great visual and the flavor is amazing. So that's gonna go in our milk, as well as some fresh grated nutmeg. We're gonna need about a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So we're gonna come into our Dutch oven with three cups of half and half. We'll add our vanilla pods, or vanilla seeds, I should say. The actual bean itself. Fresh nutmeg and then just a shake of some whiskey barrel smoked salt. Now, I don't want this to come to a simmer. I just want to steep these flavors into the cream. So we'll let it come up to about where it's steaming. Turn that heat down and then just let it steep for about five minutes. So we're right at that stage where it's steaming. We'll let that go for about five minutes. Meanwhile, we're gonna separate out our eggs. So probably not a surprise to anyone that real eggnog does in fact have eggs in it. We are going to separate these eggs out. Now the whites we're gonna whip with sugar to essentially form a meringue, which is gonna give our eggnog a lot of its body, a lot of its frothiness. The yolks are also gonna get whipped with sugar, in fact, more sugar, and then we'll temper in that milk that we've steeped with the vanilla bean and the nutmeg. So our four yolks are gonna get three heaping tablespoons of white sugar. And we're gonna whip this with a whisk until it's really thickened up. It's also gonna lighten in color. You can do this by hand or you can do it in the stand mixer. We're gonna use the stand mixer for the whites here in a little bit because it takes even more work. So I'm just gonna do this by hand for now. So you can see how this is lightened in color now and you can see how thick it is. Kind of holds that ribbon. This is where we need it to be before we start to temper. So now we're gonna start the tempering process which just means we're gonna add a little bit of this hot liquid to our yolks and sugar and we're gonna bring up the egg yolks and temperature slowly so that they don't curdle. So we'll just add a little bit at a time, whisking constantly. And then as you get that temperature coming up, you can add more cream quicker to the point where you're just dumping it in. All right, so now our eggs and milk are tempered. At this point, we need it to chill down. So if you've got all the time in the world, just throw it in the fridge. But I wanna do this a little bit quicker, so we're gonna actually chill this down with an ice bath. So we're just gonna nestle that down into the ice water to cool off. Now the rest of this recipe, we're gonna finish out on the stand mixer. We're gonna start with the whites in there. We're gonna beat them until they're frothy, just, just barely soft peaks. Add in another tablespoon of sugar, which is gonna help stabilize them as we whip them up to stiff peaks. And then we're gonna add in our milk and egg mixture. And that's just slowly going to incorporate so that we get this nice fluffiness to our eggnog. That's where we get that big body from. And we're gonna accomplish that by using the whisk attachment for the KitchenAid. So in with our four egg whites. Let's go ahead and get those started. We're just getting to those soft peaks where you can see the streaks behind the whisk. We're gonna add in one heaping tablespoon of sugar and crank it back up. And whip to stiff peaks. 
So when it's done, it should look shiny. It should not look chunky. And when you flip this over, it should stand up perfectly, just like that. That's what we're looking for. So still with the whisk attachment, we're gonna turn that speed way down and start to drizzle in what's essentially our custard mixture, our steeped cream and egg yolks. And just slowly work that in. So we're gonna break down the whites a little bit, but they're still gonna add enough structure to really give you this nice, frothy eggnog. So we'll pop this off the mixer now and kind of finish this off by hand. There's one last kind of special ingredient, maybe a little less traditional, but I love to add it to the eggnog. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of maple syrup in here. I just love that sweetness. I love that maple flavor. It fits really well with the nutmeg, with the vanilla. And if you're making virgin eggnog, this is right where you'll stop. This is the finished product. Uh, if you're making a batch for the grown folks though, this is where we're gonna add our spirits. So we're gonna go with a high proof whiskey. I mean this 100 proof bourbon here. Two ounces of that. And we're also going to do two ounces of rum. We've got the grander eight year. Not a spiced rum, so it doesn't affect the overall flavor profile of what we've already built. So at this point, you would just want to chill this down, let it settle a bit. Some of the frothiness is going to settle. That's fine. So I pour this into a storage container and put it in the fridge and you'll be good to sip on it for a good week or so. So this is a batch that's already chilled. You can see how much it's kind of reduced down in volume. That's just because it's not fresh, it's not frothy anymore. You can totally drink this when it's frothy, when it's fresh. It's gonna be much more of a cappuccino kind of uh, texture as far as the drinking goes. But if you're thinking about your traditional eggnog, which you're probably used to, this is the consistency. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, pour up a couple drinks right now. So each one gets a big ice cube. We're gonna pour that settled nog over the top. We need just a little bit of space here. And since I've got the fresh nog, we're gonna to top it off with a little bit of that froth. And for garnish, we'll do just a shake of smoked turbinado sugar on top. Some more nutmeg. The star of the show here. And we'll do a little bit of orange zest as well. Yeah, it smells incredible. I love that fresh citrus on top. Mmm. So creamy. Nutmeg and vanilla. I love that little bit of sugar on top because it kind of just hits your tongue. Man, if you're not a Nog fan, you got to give it a try anyway. It's so tasty. Cheers, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.